Man, as a Louisville fan, it was so hard trying to get tickets to the Louisville Kentucky game. I know it happens every year, but it's so hard to get tickets. It should not be that hard to get a ticket to support your team and be a true fan. And with game time, that problem is no longer an issue. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fastest, easy way to get your tickets to the next big event and the price is guaranteed. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. So download the game time at make account, use promo code club520 and get $20 off. Sign up. And while you at it, go ahead and use the promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase on the app. Don't forget, use CLUB520 for the promo code. You get that $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Subscribe to our YouTube, CLUB520. Uh, we clowning on that mother Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same gang with me to my left. My dog, Bishop B. Hen, out the prairies. How you what today? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it. Hey, man, we might have to find you. I know All-Star Week pulling up, man, but you came to work out of uniform. What's going on? I, know, man, I was running late today. I was cooking, and, and I left my other shirt that I was going to wear. So I'm going to promo y'all next week. My fault. I got y'all. Speaking of promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess this would be... When y'all see us next, it'll be before. So February 15th, charity game, 520, Isador, Warren Central High School at 7 p.m. Pull up, it's for the kids. You know what I mean? It's going to be a good time, 7 to 9. Then following, we got the after party at All Stars Lounge. Beginning at 10, get there before 12 so you don't got to pay a whole bunch of money at the door. And don't call us because we ain't coming up. Today. They whacking at the door after 12. Yeah, Jay said it's over. 150. <laughs> All-star kicks in at midnight. Cause, <laughs> uh, we can't even tell y'all who the special guest is. Y'all mm. better get there early. Pretty mo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> a nigga from the gas station. <laughs> special guest is elite. <laughs> No, for sure. To, <laughs> pull up, though. But to my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young T. How you up, man? Man, I was playing a post today in practice, man, against the kids, so I had to pull out the heavy duties. Yeah, why you ain't wear the penny threes? <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> Them was super heavy dudes. I, I like to take my comment back. The penny threes is the worst pennies. They just took a shoe and put, just, just, uh, just fuck it, just put a wave on the they side They put of a bitch. Pat Ewing shoe Ooh. with penny name on it. Damn, that's out of pocket. Man, them motherfuckers is big as shit, but... Now nah, I'm a Penny Hardaway fan, so decided to, we talked about him last episode. And that's funny you brought up Pat Ewing. I like I feel this way about like Steph and other like cold players that have like weak ass signature shoes, like especially in like big cities. Like damn, like I wish I could have been in Orlando because I would have been geeked to wear a pair of pennies. Yeah. I'm in New York. I don't want them Ewings, bro. I had the Ewings. I, they, they came back My for friend, a I, year and a half. I'll, I'll rock some next episode. Remind me, I got some Ewings. I I got the Georgetown ones too. Matter of mm -hmm. fact. Shout out to my nigga Phil Cole. He had them. Yeah, we had that. them in the Matumbos. Yeah, nah, hey, right. the Team Teak Matumbo wave was crazy. Nuts, bro. Mm -hmm. Adidas showed show too much love. Yeah. Them yeah. Matumbos was, never mind. Fuck it down, bro. Yeah. Me and nah. Philip Blue, who wore the shit out of them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. That was the official hoop show. When I seen them shows, I was like, oh, yeah, my nigga's on the hoop session. <laughs> them black yeah. like, balls, like, yeah, that's the team team hoop session right there. But, uh, all right, man, but, hey, trade deadline took place today. A couple of wild shit took off. Um, not any marquee names to say, but I always want to ask you, um, obviously, you've been a part of this. you played in the league for a long time. Trade deadline, how was that when you feel like I might fucking get traded today? Like, what's that feeling? I only felt that shit twice. One time I was like, shit, I hope I don't get traded. <laughs> then I got traded. That's when I was in Boston. But the other times it was like, I ain't never really think I was going to get traded. Uh, Minnesota, it kind of caught me by surprise, but I kind of asked for that trade. I was ready to get out of there. Uh, but I wasn't there. I ain't never really cared because it's banks everywhere. That's a bar. Same. Hard. Like, shit, you get your check on the first and the 15th, it's banks everywhere, so I ain't never really cared. That's real. I mean, I be feeling bad for certain players. Like, I be shit if I went from a cold-ass team to, like, damn, this team about to not be in the playoffs. These niggas is lottery. Like, my whole move fucked up. Nah, the worst is get traded from a sad team to a, another sad team. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nah, that's, that's, when you, that's when you know your time is almost up. Yeah. When you start going a week team to week team, it's like, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. You start hitting that chitlin circuit, nigga. Yeah. Start sending you to San Antonio. When they sent me from Minnesota to Atlanta on a rebuild, I was like, yeah, I probably ain't gonna have too many more years in this motherfucker. They was like, yeah, we about to have a backcourt of Jeff Teague and Trey Young. 5'10". I'll be wondering if niggas be trying to figure out, like, damn, bro, when they go to that sad ass team, like, <laughs> what's next? I wonder if they be hitting their agents up, bro, what we got in the chamber, bro. I'm trying to be a, uh, especially if you got like 10 or 12, 10 or more years in there. Man. You're like, man. Mm. If you, man, nah, I'm gonna say, bro, you got like 12 or 13, you start thinking, like, let me finesse it and be a, a good vet so I can stay around a little longer. Yeah. Especially don't, if you don't have no plans outside of hoop. Yeah. Because that's a real decision. Like, you say that casually, but, like, for real, you we see them people who be like, all right, now I got to be a vet. Like, no matter how I was, all right, I got to adjust because if I'm about to be a coach, I got to start being on this now. Yeah. I wish I would have had the Udonis Haslam. Like, I, he held them niggas hostage because of that uh, big three deal. They owe that nigga money. He said, oh, I'm going to yeah. get every cent. Nah, yeah. on me. That nigga he played a long game for that sure. That nigga didn't play for like seven years straight. <laughs> Shout out to him. I, I wish I could have held the Hawks or somebody hostage like that. Nah, like, bro, that's yeah, chess. Fuck that. He played chess for sure. Right. So shout out to him. He did it the right way. For sure, man. Uh, a couple of trades that caught me off guard. Um, the Detroit Pistons ruined the Eastern Conference for no reason. I don't know why they had to send... Bogey and Alec Burke to the Knicks on the team that's already cold and gave them even better wings. I'm pissed. You know how much I love Tibbs, but shit, they ain't about to play. <laughs> now, that nigga only plays seven people. Now we about, hey, <laughs> I seen dude homie on the internet was like, he gonna have to break that rule. I just seen Tibbs' head start shaking. Yeah. <laughs> when he's up in eight people, Man, come and they on. gonna lose it. They can only play a certain amount of people, so it's gonna be interesting. Alec, Alec might not play, but he like Alec, though. Yeah. yeah. He, he his like, type of player for he sure. Yeah, he played defense. Mm -hmm. Bogey cold, so you gotta play Bogey. Mama. But Thanks he don't play no I don't know if he played defense like that. That's where they might clash at. Yeah, if you don't play defense, because Dante been hooping, Josh Hart. Yeah, Villanova, yeah. Knicks been going crazy. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting. I feel like they down there might be the second best team in the East now. Nigga, hmm. what? They Over might who? be the second best team in the East. Man. Over who? They might have edged Milwaukee out right now. But they man. just got packed. Man, what the fuck you talking about? They did. <laughs> and they still <laughs> might be the second best team in the East right a, now. That's a, good, that's a good pickup for them, too. They lost nothing. They weren't even playing Quentin Grimes. Like, they weren't, like, Tiz would give him no run. I think he a decent player. I think he going to, well, well, he in Detroit. I don't know what he going to do. Prayers up. But. <laughs> to the pack. <laughs> you know you. you Sada! Know. Sada, please. You know you down bad. When you wave a your lottery pick. Hey, man. Two of them got waved. James Knight got waved, and Killian Hayes got waved. And they said Monty was just like, he called off a trade for Killian a couple weeks ago. I'm like, that's interesting. So you did PJ and Ivy for 15 fucking games and then hold him hostage just to let him go. James just killed. He been yeah. killing. Yeah. yeah, he had a 30, what, 35, 36, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, he, just he been killed. killing. But I think I think Pat, I ain't saying Pat gonna make Milwaukee better or not, but that's a good pickup for them. Mm -mm. That don't put the Knicks over. I the, just feel the like books, the, as good as good as they playing right now to get two more players that can come off and still shoot at an amazing clip. Mm -hmm. That Jalen, that Jalen, um, I love that double Alan team Burke. is gone now because you that shit open. Nah, because yeah. Bogey can really score yeah. on me. Alec yeah. Burke can score too. When and he, he was with, that uh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, when he was with, I thought he was gonna mm -hmm. start going on his run when he played with uh, Golden State in 2020 because that's when he that was his best year in the NBA. He was averaging like damn near 17, 18 a game. So I mean, they got a good score, but like Jeff said, I mean. Tibbs got to fuck with them. Yeah, that's true. They going to figure true. out a way to get Pat in the game some type of way. Pat fit Milwaukee perfectly because he don't need the... Uh, he on, He ain't a... He ain't a ball-dominant point guard. Like, he yeah. ain't even really a point guard. Like, he could play point guard. He more of a defender. 3 and D type of dude. Yeah. So, for a Milwaukee, like, with a Giannis, that's the kind of person they need because Giannis always... Got the ball. Mm -hmm. Like when Dame out, Giannis kind of control the ball. The backup point guard, you don't really get to handle the ball if you play with Giannis. Yeah. Giannis coming down, full head of steam. He wants you in the corner. He kick it to you, shoot that motherfucker. Yeah. And that's what Pat do best. He a mm -hmm. great catch and shoot. Yeah. And he going to guard. 
Yeah, and then that, he gonna hold niggas accountable. Nah, facts. That's why I think they really need him yeah. for sure. I was gonna say, and the most underrated thing about Pat, like you said, <clears throat> he know how to facilitate and he know how to play with a star. And you mm -hmm. need somebody who know how to play with a star. And he gonna bring that energy that they they need to make her push. But yeah. I want to ask you, like he said, him and Dame gotta get that relationship right. <laughs> you had a little bit of experience with that. How is it getting traded to a team where being on a team with somebody you used to have an issue with? Man, I like this much. Like, damn, now we gotta work together now. Who the fuck I have an issue with? <laughs> Belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't really, I ain't know it was an issue. I just, I was just wild. I thought I just smacked the motherfucker and moved on with it. <laughs> you thought it was just over? Yeah, I ain't know there was really no pressure with it. I was like, damn, until I walked in the locker room, I'm like, damn, he really still on that. But, <laughs> now nah, they shit a little different, though, because they was talking big boy shit. Mm. But that's the nature of the beast, man. You yeah. got to walk in the locker room. You got to go say what up. Yeah, that's, on, that's on and off the court beef. Yeah, and nah, it's a little yeah. different when it's like, yeah, you walk into, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm bit dog, bro. Yeah, I'm bit dog. Come on over here, yeah. and you did, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bit dog. And like, it was cool. You were starting to yeah. you, you could pop shit with them. Like, you can yeah. talk back and forth, but now you're in a different position and you yeah. got to walk in kind of a little more humble. I'm not saying Pat ain't going to be who he is. For sure, he's going to do that, but. I'm a, I, I, whatever you need, I got you, brother. Yeah, That's bro, what you yeah. got. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hey, you got hey, it. I'm about to go get some shots up. Fuck with me. Yeah, <laughs> but he also got to be like, nigga, you my backup now, nigga. It's a little different, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Humble pie. Yeah. I think Pat, I think Pat mm. gonna thrive in that role, bro. Ah, for sure. He gonna be I a thrive, perfect fit. Bro. He probably be, he probably sign a two or three year deal with them after this year. Yeah. It's gonna be funny in the playoffs. He gonna have a couple of them games where he's just hitting threes for no reason. Mm -hmm. He gonna be talking cash shit. Oh, right, yeah. Wait. He gonna be guard. He gonna go at Philly. They gonna play Philly or something. He gonna have a moment. I, I see it already. He gonna have a moment. He hit like three or four threes. Mm -hmm. He gonna start bugging out. Everybody in Milwaukee gonna love that shit. Milwaukee love that kind of shit. Like him and Bobby Portis, they gonna love yeah, that I combination. They got a hell of a bench. Oh, they gonna love that combo. That's gonna be exciting to see. I'm gonna have to come to the uh, Eastern Conference game. Y'all still got my tickets. Fear the deer. <laughs> Fuck they talking about. Nah, they seen last episode. That's crazy. <laughs> Who else y'all think cleaned up today? Okay, see. Okay, see. What? Up. Why? Because I got Gordon Hayward. Wow, you gave Gordon <laughs> some love. Hold sure. niggas accountable, you two. Man, please do. <laughs> I said I didn't want no more white people on the Pacers. But if that's all it took, goddamn. I ain't know the Knicks was going to go crazy no. like that. My Pacers, we got to do something, baby. Yeah, no. uh, Doug McDermott. Plug McDermott back in the city. Yeah, we had to get butt water up out of here. And they got a, another mixed breed. Who, who you Corey say? Joseph. Oh, Corey Joseph? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I, I don't expect Corey Joseph to set foot um, in 46208. Corey, we have room for you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Hey, he, him and DJ Augustine was two niggas who kept a job. Yeah. For sure. Corey Joe, matter of fact, Corey Joe, come on the podcast, man. We can talk about how we can go back. Yeah. This is a podcast to go back. We'll definitely love that. Before they, before they get you up out of here, stop by. <laughs> <laughs> before your Delta fly. It definitely is not funny. He's flying economy. <laughs> get out. Nah, 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 nah. He first class for sure. Nah, he can, he can play with y'all, bro. He can fit in somewhere, bro. He can get some bullshit minutes. Y'all not, y'all not strapped, Paul. So, like, Y'all not like that. Hey, man. Y'all not a deep squad. Look, I just day. got rid of Buddy. Let me be happy, all right? No, I'm just, just saying, let me be happy, like, right? this dude. Just let me be happy. Nigga, I got rid you, of Buddy. You let me be love, happy. You love Buddy last year. You definitely was like, Buddy. That was my just, nigga. Buddy need to start over Mather all the time. Oh, on me. And then he came out like he was in Space Jam and never nah, got his parents fuck back. That. And Stand I didn't want him no more. I was disrespecting me when I said, play Mather. Play the young bull. He said, we got Buddy Hill, though, bro. Buddy need the shots. Yeah. Now you try to shift the nigga first thing out. Hey, listen. I I know y'all don't watch Pacer games, but my Pacer niggas feel me. Nobody shed a tear today. When they said, how does Tyrese feel? This is why people leave. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Fair leave, weather bro. fans, man. That's crazy, man. I'm a real fan. I never do that to the... Uh... <laughs> 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 Luis, Louise, clip that. <laughs> I never do that to the Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Or the Hawks, or the Hawks. Clip I'll never, that, please. I'll what about never, Minnesota? That was awesome. Never been a fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I think uh, Gordon Hayward going to be perfect for OKC, especially playoff run, though. That he going to really help that team because they need somebody who can just catch and shoot. Shit, he about to go crazy. Nah, he just and fit, he more than that. He fit what they do. Like, they all play big wings. They don't really play a center like that. I mm. mean, Shet Holmgren is a center, but... 
Big um, guard he, skill. Yeah, yeah, he ain't really a center. Then they four men are like people like Gordon. Like Jalen Williams played a four. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another skill player, dribble pass, shoot. Not that big. Probably like six, seven, six, five, six, 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 seven around yeah. there. Same size as Gordon. And then they got Josh Giddy, six, eight. Another oh, wing Giddy. player, guard, whatever. They play that kind of system. And he fit perfect right there. He's going to come off the pitch. And Hell yeah. Hey, I told y'all. Switch one through four. Yeah, I said it. I told y'all before the season started. But you know, y'all got it. Y'all NBA analysts, y'all got it. I'll let y'all rock. Yeah. Nah, you called it. I mean, they are a good team. Uh, they left. hard, bro. That young talent, them niggas. I said, teams that's talented like that, once they figure it out, bro, and niggas like to share the ball, they going to win, bro. Niggas yeah. are still getting their numbers, bro. Yeah, and that's a new wave in NBA. You even look what the Knicks is doing, like, <laughs> Nobody expected the Knicks to rebuild like this that quick, and they ain't even do nothing crazy. They just got players who fit their system, and they going crazy. Shout yeah. out to Jr. Get well soon, bro. <clears throat> His name's Julius Randle. Get well, Julius Randle. All star. Oh, shit, I had to think. Who fucking Jr. Yeah, he got to stop that. Real just, I was really thinking, I was like, damn nigga, her playing golf. <laughs> Out of pocket. <laughs> I swear to God. You disrespectful. Like, Damn. What happened to him? Oh, he got hurt. Shit. All right. Shout out to Julius Randle. My fault, bro. I, I ain't know they called you JR. It's only yeah, him. they do. Uh, they go back. <laughs> thought they called you Jew. But That's crazy. Cool. JU, hopefully. But. <laughs> hey, man, the Hornets. <laughs> the Hornets really an AAU team again. Because I looked at them uh, a couple on, days ago when Gordon was on the pitch. He just was sitting away and he was just like, yeah, it's indefinite. He's not staying here no more. Yeah. Yeah, Melo he sold his care. house already in Charlotte. Miles Bridges said, I'm not leaving. <laughs> he was like, it's too fun here. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> that video of them buying the jewelry is one of my favorite videos of I time. love it here. I'm never leaving. <laughs> and Melo gifted my nigga a Rory like he just got out the joy. <laughs> Man, what? <laughs> he got him a Rory? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I gotta get on that team. <laughs> Hold on, Melo by Rory. Uh, Ish, we gotta talk, bro. What's going on? Damn, they that's hard. It's hard, bro. Mike, we got ten days, Charlie, for you. How you what? How much money that nigga getting buying niggas Rory? Shit, he just signed a max two eighty five. I mean, yeah, I know he got the max deal, but damn, he Puma, Puma bag, Puma check. I told y'all what I rock. Call me. What's the not Nike or Adidas? If somebody had a song, some real shit, some shit that y'all really rock, who y'all signing with today? Y'all had to wear the shoe, though. How much money they give me? I'll give you an idea. Three year, 15 mil, five a year. Shit, I'll wear any motherfucker. I got, got, you got New me. Balance Me, what's up? Man, That's give a good me, pick. That's a good pick. Dude. Yeah, give me, New Balance Me. A6, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Nigga. Ain't a bad call. I rock them shits every day. I was gonna say newbie too, but I'd probably go back to the Puma bull. I will rock them every day too. I I can't wear the clock. Y'all can sign me for a three year, three hundred thousand. I'll wear them every day. You wearing Skechers for hundred k a year? Hell yeah. They don't want you, bro. They don't. I didn't try. They didn't, they ain't fucking with me. I don't think I ever do that. I would a hundred k to wear some tennis shoes. Hell yeah, this ain't this ain't about nothing. Yeah. I mean, it ain't about no. That's just, that's a crazy, I don't know if that's good for your feet, bro. They they the most comfortable, they say. Yeah. Shit. I think Kim K. I don't think they got enough off the court shoes, though, for me to even rock. Yeah, they do. No, you don't have to rock the, the shape ups. <laughs> <laughs> don't they make the Heelys? Oh, Lord, I'm wild. You don't want to wear the Heelys either. That's nasty. Fuck it. I go all out. Damn. I wear Heelys for 100, man. I, I would I would die. Hold on, my fault. Did you after tax, though, I need you know, the hunter after tax. You know what would be what be fucking hilarious and what will fucking boil this nigga blood if one of his players <laughs> out of the game and starts skating. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, I swear to God, I'll what cut. What would you do? I cut him. I, he would get cut that night. <laughs> this nigga might know Bob Knight. <laughs> he would get cut, bro. I swear to God, I would call a timeout. I'll be like, roll your ass right onto the locker room. What the fuck are you doing? Nigga, nigga, you sad as fuck. <laughs> and like, nigga, nigga call flex against him. <laughs> what about the nigga score though? Hey, he hit a Euro game. Yeah, that that nigga fire. sad, hey, man. I was like, I'm damn. I'm surprised like one of these little kids did that. They always right. trolling and trying to go viral. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody did that shit. Hope I was just hit. thinking about that. The weak ass shoes, the niggas hooping in. I'm like, if a nigga starts skating with this nigga. That shit would be funny as hell. <laughs> that nigga gonna lose. I'm trying to lead a turn. I need one of the. We so sad. We might as well start doing gimmicks and shit. Hey, 
Me, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing a, uh, uh, what's it called? Bark the dog play. Me and Lou been working on it. Oh my nigga, god! A nigga just start barking in the corner. <laughs> I see everybody looking, try to get a layup. <laughs> Fuck it, we on that kind of shit now. <laughs> my nigga running decoy what play? plays. <laughs> what that shit was called? A little giant. <laughs> what was that shit? Something to Puerto Rico? Uh, I forgot what it said. I feel like my uh, nigga Martin Lawrence a rebound right now. <laughs> come on, but y'all uh, see sure. what's that movie? Snoop Dogg and them uh, hey, underdogs. That's one of my favorite sports movies of all time. <laughs> he talks so that, crazy to them kids. That's, that's me. <laughs> That's definitely my nigga for yeah. sure. That's funny. Man, that nigga might is about to rob niggas. Oh, damn, what's up? My nigga is crazy. <laughs> man, pray for Mike, man. Mike doing all right. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> his prayer's been working, nigga. Yeah, I he be on he, HGTV every day. I, I need his prayer. Uh, no, right. Let's talk about that Monique shit, though. Y'all done tapped in? Of course. So y'all believe her? <laughs> she got all the receipts. Y'all believe that, well, she said she got the audio of Tyler Perry saying whatever that he fucked up her career. Do you believe that he owe her? If he fucked if he, if he did. How much you think he owe her? He said she fucked, he fucked up like 10 million. He'll write it off. That's kind of crazy that 10 he, million just ain't like nothing now. Like, yeah. All right, big girl, off. here goes 10. Yeah. I think she said 2 million per year for 10 years. So he got that too. Million. She trying to get a fucking mid-level extension. Like, she out of pocket. Yeah, like, all right. You and your husband go get some Big Macs. That's how you treat that shit. Yeah. That's light paper. Yeah, like, yeah. He'll make a joke out of that. But he gonna industry, make a movie about him. That'll be hard. That would be hard. That would be fire. He'd just make a parody about Monique. Fuck a diss song. I'm making a diss <laughs> movie, nigga. That's hey, hard. Y'all know how big that'll be, bro. About this like, whole thing, like... <laughs> Just make oh that'd be hard. He make a movie. Y'all owe my nigga team some credits. Yeah, he make a movie about a. I don't know if you want to be in a movie though. Make a movie I'll about a, a woman. I'll be Monique nigga. I'm not about to say a big woman. <laughs> I'll be Monique nigga in the movie. Fuck it. Oh, that's I'm not about to say wrong. a big woman. He, she already said say fat and shit. You heard yeah. her on the interview. She said call me fat. All that. So I'm just saying a big woman. I'm with jumping a husband. off the road. <laughs> that was a co- not a comedian. Just make her an actress or an entertainer. So if she they won't sue him and just kind of play that role. She feel like she was getting hated on by the higher ups, the big wigs. Yeah. <laughs> make a fire movie out of it. Starring Taraji B Henson. <laughs> you know Taraji on that motherfucker. <clears throat> you she gotta gonna be, be careful. She gonna be the highest up. Boy, she gonna be Oprah in that movie. You think about it, it's a good, it's a good concept. I feel man. like this is a movie. I'm trying to figure out what movie it is. <sighs> no, that ain't a bad idea. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy how Hollywood be doing motherfuckers, though. <clears throat> yeah. Them bigger relationships, if you got them locked in. Shit. And if she expecting people to go above and beyond and try to fuck up their bag for her, I don't think. What, like Kevin Hart now? Yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. like, with, like Michael Blackson kind of expounded upon that and him to say, I don't even really rock with him like that, but still like, hey, he did what he could do for you. Like, it wasn't his job to save your career, but him even doing what he did should have been like applauded. And then Dio Hughley snapped. I don't know if y'all seen that. No, nah, what he said? Um, basically, he called Monique a lying piece of stuff. He was on her ass basically saying everything she said about him was cap. Mm. He was just like... I did what you asked me to because I guess something happened on the radio show and he was just like, I pulled that out of courtesy for you. He was just like, but the way you talked about me and my family and my stuff, like, why are you even speaking on me? Like, nobody right. works with you. So your family don't even like you. He was going crazy. You'll know real when you get it. And when you get it, it'll say eBay authenticity guaranteed. And you'll feel it. When it comes to your feet, eBay has your back. Maybe it's a head turning pair for hooping or a hot new collab. And whatever you're after, you can cop on eBay and you can trust they'll be authentic. They will be guaranteed by experts. Not just any experts, sneaker experts who live and breathe the culture. Real people with real hands-on authentication experience. That's what the blue check mark represents on eBay. Authenticity guaranteed. Meaning every inch, stitch, sole is verified through a detailed inspection. So when you finally step into those grill kicks, you realize that feeling is like none other. And, and with, with eBay authenticity guarantee, that feeling is real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. <laughs> D.L. Hughley. I, fuck, I like he yeah, kinda, Say niggas last name. Yeah, you bro. gotta say D.L. Yeah. Hughley. That's a wild the ass name. The fucking Hughley. <laughs> That's a weak name. Hughley. Yeah, let's call him Hugh, bro. Hey, the Hughley TV show is fire. Yeah, you see my nigga, though? The, the son? I don't want no problems. Nah, Let me leave him respects. alone. <laughs>
He not a Leonard Brown. He went a different route. <laughs> Damn, what he on? Murder, she wrote. Everything. Damn. Nigga, you see his face tattoos? No, I ain't seen it. Nigga got the whole face like he just from Wow, he didn't prank out. Damn, bless his heart. Yeah, he he went, he went, yeah. Yeah, respects. I don't want no smoke here. He He on that. He beat some attempted murders. (laughs) No, that's crazy. But I think Monique, she just trying to get her run back. And I ain't mad at it, but just. Where y'all rank Monique? Uh, In the comedy with women. She, where she at? Ah, yeah, that's tough for me to even. My favorite is uh, nah, I don't. Samora. Yeah, the nasty one. Yeah, yeah. she the yep. titties. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep. that's what I was. I wasn't say. on that, but I'm saying like, <laughs> when she doing her stand up. I, I was a fan of when she was in Kevin Hart that movie that uh, Soul Plane. I liked her in Fridays. Yeah, she yeah. was fun. She was uh the new wife. I yeah. left Candy. I like yeah. the I like the uh, Daddy gonna catch some. <laughs> I like the big old school woman too that be with Cat Williams. Linnell. Linnell. Linnell's yeah. hilarious. Linnell's up there. But Monique probably number one just because of the TV show for me. The Parkers is elite. Yeah. Elite TV where show. That, where is that? Family where is that T V show? Right. Shit, it was it's definitely a top tier of the UPN shows. I you think, think you think black. it's a top five black yeah. I, no. Monique? No. Fuck Ooh. no. Top 10, not top. Top 5 is tough. Because they had uh, mm. Johnny Gill boyfriend and that motherfucker, the girl who sung, uh, Ooh, Johnny her professor? daughter, Professor. Oh, he has, Professor Ogby has some the of the daughter, nasty shirts. The daughter, she was, she was funny. Kim. Uh, Kim. Kim was funny. The white girl was Shout thick. Shout out to Freestyle Unity. She was thick, She was though. strapped, low-key strapped. We don't talk about her enough. She was thick, though. That white girl on Nigga low-key had no bars, too. My nigga, yeah. <laughs> his his rap was ass. Oh, T was poo. <laughs> See, T was I'm thinking was about ass. the dynamic of the show, though. Nah, bro, it might be top five. That's a funny-ass oh, show, though. No. It is a fire show. It might so be top five. That's better than Martin. D, come on, T. <laughs> Put them, just name, start naming shit. I Steve top Harvey. <clears throat> okay, go Ooh, ahead. That. Fox. I might take the Parkers on Steve Harvey brothers. <laughs> the Cosby. It's getting spooky. Are we I'm just weird. doing uh, the Cosby's out? That don't count? Nah, I wouldn't put that in there. You saying all uh, Before the allegations. Cosby's, Cosby's release, number, Cosby's Cosby's number one. Yeah, before the allegations, that's in the lead show. Yeah. Okay, Family Matters. No, are we just doing Seven. straight? That comedy counts? shows. One no, you doing, you doing good, bro. Oh, one on one is a elite UPN you, no, show. No, you're doing great, bro. Bernie Mac. <clears throat> you going crazy. Uh, <laughs> Go crazy. Fuck. Uh, you doing good. Different strokes, different world. <laughs> different world. Uh, oh, I don't like different world. One on one. Yeah. Maybe that one on one is elite. Oh, you already named it. Okay. So he had, he just named off 10. I said top 10 for sure. It's oh, debatable. I, I can't give it five it's or 10. I'm thinking about the, because the dynamic, bro. It's a funny ass show. Monique. And her daughter, bro, that's a real, like, it's black. Yeah. Did y'all a, say Fresh Prince? That's a single. Fresh Prince? That's Damn, a single disrespectful. mom. My fault. I can relate more to the Monique show. I had both parents. I'm just saying, like, yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. family dynamic outside of, of course, my household. But the Monique shit, bro, is relatable, bro. Niggas ain't even say Moesha either. Y'all Mo- fuck with Moesha? Ooh, I like Moesha I better did. than I like the Parkers. Moesha was weak. Ooh. That nah, was a, that's a weak the, the ass show, was so bro. Fucked up that Frank made Mitchell me like, is a piece of shit. He made me like that show. Yeah, he. We already talked like about him being one of the worst TV like dads. Yeah, that, for sure. That, that's yeah. why. Yeah, but now that that's a terrible was, show to me. My like opinion. Uh, it's one more. I ain't knocking y'all for liking that. Come on, but I agree when when um. When they got to college, when they was both in the same community bro, college, bro, that shit was, that, bro. When they caught that stride, that show was, the, that Parkers was hilarious, bro. Oh, that yeah. was wild. I ain't going, bro. Did you watch Malcolm did. and Eddie? Malcolm and Eddie, Malcolm and Eddie was cool. That was, it that wasn't really If it wasn't nothing else on, I'm fucking with it. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm and Eddie was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm warming up my food. I get the last five minutes to the fuck fuck this on. on. Yeah. I'll watch this motherfucker. I got a the good Parkers question. Top five. It's top five. It's top five. So, bro, it's better than Wayne's Brothers. I'm not saying it's the bottom of the five. Oh, Wayne's bro, I don't. Is yeah. it better than Wayne's brothers? No. Hey, is it better than Fresh Prince? Pops, no. yeah, I'm giving Wayne's brothers. Is pops. it better than? They no, he's not call. better than Martin. No. Is no. it better than Murdy Mac show? No. no. It's five. It's uh, number five. I I'm, uh, yeah. It's hard in that fifth spot. I'm nah, not mad bro, at it, but I, it's debatable. No, nah, I'm putting that over Bernie's show, bro. No, 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 no,
It's number what five. What was her name? But no. yeah, then where was her? And name? Steve Harvey show low key better than the Parkers, bro. It I, is. I, 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 nah, yeah, it is. I can't bro. go, man. <laughs> Bullethead, yeah, that's your go, DJ Wildin, bro. I can't go, man. The dynamic, yes, bro. Bullethead. Yeah. It's a great R- show. I love Romeo, it. Steve, nah, Seth, Lavita, Lavita, yeah, <laughs> Regina, the real Lavita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, nah. The five part. <laughs> it's number. It's like number six, seven. Like the dynamic of the show, bro, the characters is I what agree. I'm saying, DJ. Because if we count the Cosby show and shit, she really started going Cosby was a cheat, Yeah, bro. we can't put them in there. Yeah, if you had is... shows like that, she's in top Yeah, three. but if you just saying comic relief shows and, like, comedians, yeah, she, All right. she number six. Because I don't think she better than Jamie Foxx. No, Jamie Foxx is funny as fuck. No, no. I agree. I don't think she better than Bernie Mac. That's me. And Bernie Mac show is funny because he really said fucking kids bro. for yeah. four seasons, and I love it. But they wasn't them kids wasn't shit, bro. Oh, Baby Girl was a real villain on that show, and nobody speaks about yeah, it. Yeah, she I was just, the worst kid. Show. You they know what show I used to like though? That it's not better than the Parkers, but it could have been Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Bro, that yes, was the list. I saw it on the list. On my life, that's better than. <laughs> I swear to God, that show Good was shit. hard. I swear I don't to God, think it was, agree, I don't bro. think it had enough seasons though. <laughs> but if there's no hang, no hanging with Mr. Cooper, there's no Steve Harvey show. Facts. For sure. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Good shit, bro. Yes, I'm putting that. Damn, I don't want to, but I am. Yeah, hey. that was hard. That show was hard. That show was nasty, bro. So is that top off? Yes, bro. All right, so she Ooh. moved to like six or seven. Oh, we wildin'. Who? Smart guy. Ah! We hey, wild, smart guy is fire. Yeah, that is smart guy is fire. We wild, y'all. It's not top five, but it's fire. Huh? Nah, is that the same type of show? I mean, it's same brand, same shit. That's yeah, more sister, near. sister, 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 family I matters. Like sister, sister, as much as smart guy. Smart guy was saying, funny it's like, as fuck. That's the type of hang with Mr. Cooper got the same character. Mr. Cooper, yeah, yeah, that's the same. Smart yeah, guy, though. City High, smart like guy. That. The same. Damn, you said City High. I used to watch all shows. City High was fire. I used to watch every show, bro. City High was fire. Yeah, I might have had smart guy because smart guy had uh. Taj Mori. Taj uh, Mori. I don't be knowing his sister. name. His sister was fun. Yeah. Her name was Yvette on there. Yep, the two best friends. Mm-hmm. My nigga from Lion King and Omar. Yeah, they was funny as hell. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. His daddy was funny in the bitch, too. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with Smart Guy. Yeah, I fuck smart, with smart Guy, guy. we wildin'. Damn, that's crazy. YouTube do a poll, man. Yeah, let us know, man. We're the Parker. Do y'all top three in the comments, man. Man, that's going to be tough because it's a lot of... Like, I wish we had them top... I mean, we do, but like, we got Zeus and shit now. Like, this, them Tim programmers ain't the same no more. Facts. I don't even... I can't even give y'all no new TV shows now, bro. I'm so yeah, tapped out. I still watch the old shit, to be honest. Yeah, I, I just finished Snowfall again. I'll go back to watch all the classic shit again. Shit, Snowfall, damn. Yeah, Snowfall. Bro. I was trying to watch Raising yeah. Canaan the other day. I can't take dude serious. The nigga playing Canaan? Yeah, I, yo, rock. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> Mofa. It's so Mother annoying. Rock. I'm like, bro, I can't take this nigga. Man. That right. nigga Ronnie's hilarious, though. I, they need to, I ain't even tapped in no more. They need to put motherfucking, uh, what's my nigga, Baby Ghost back on? What's the nigga not to read? Yeah, yeah, come it, on. We need to come on back. And you know what's crazy? He had the best rebrand because we all hated Tariq during regular power. And then when he came out with his own shit, everybody was like, damn, I can't even kind of fuck with Tariq. Everybody forgot he was a whole ass nigga. Yeah. yeah. I still hate Tariq. Shout out to my nigga Tim. Him. He let his sister get smoked. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he watched his sister get smoked because of him. He's yeah. top five pieces of shit. So hey, but he's a demon. <laughs> he killed his he's daddy. He's a demon. <laughs> yeah, that's a wild. That show's wild. It's so fake that I love it. I don't know why. Oh, it's ridiculous. The last yeah. season of Power is one of the craziest written TV shows of all time. That's when I knew 50 was getting way too much money. Yeah. Because they were just doing all types of shit. Fuck it. You know what I mean? So 50 got the best TV show on TV right now. Best show. Bro, easily. He Multiple. has... Yeah, he has a universe of heat. Everything... Even Tommy's show is decent. They should have uh, let 50 do uh, the P-Valley show. Boy. That would have been crazy. Yeah, he probably would have made that a little... Yeah. They would... Oh, I'm scared. I ain't tapped in since that day the rapper turned went the other way. I said, damn. So I don't know what's going on now, but... How did you get through Snowfall? That second episode in Snowfall was... The third one. Where, where third they one. Uh, took, took, a, took Buddy over because yeah. they ain't show it. Yeah. Like, Honestly, I, I binged that first season of, and when I got to that episode, I took about a week or so off. I was like, hey, if this is going to be consistent like this, I don't know if I can watch this shit because that's crazy. It fucked my whole day up. I, like, I did not want to hear that shit. I ain't going to lie. I never finished no fall. Ah, you yeah. sleep. I can't tap in unless I binge, bro. I don't have the time to watch that shit. No, I ain't I ain't finished no fall. Like I told you, I ain't watched Raising Canaan. I ain't. The only show that really be getting my, like, I can stay in tune like that is like real life 
documentary and shit. Yeah, like, that's me. Yeah, some fairy tale made up shit. I really can't. I stay. can't, bro. Yeah. You been fucking with Griselda? Yeah, I fucked with that because I know like, damn, this really happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or I even watched Cocaine Cowboys last night. But oh, me and P was watching some movie she told me to ask you about today. Uh, some Tyler Perry movie with T- Taraji P Henson where the nigga get rich. Oh yeah, yeah. What is? I can't. Uh, know, uh, I can't think of the name of it. But good shit, put money. Yeah. Uh, damn. What is the name of that motherfucker? That's gonna bother acrimony? me. I think that's it. Where the lady, uh, the husband get the, yeah make the little bro. It's fire. Yeah, uh-huh. we was watching that. She was like, it's a debate who was in the right, who was in the wrong. Ooh. And I'm like, that bitch in the wrong. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the nigga tried to, the nigga gave her $10 million. Nigga, move around. Yeah. Like, what you doing? How can you be upset at that? Nah, yeah. <laughs> move around. Like, what? Nah. That she's is like, crazy. He got in a wreck and she lost her kids. She can't have kids no more. I'm like, adopt, baby. What Ollie. You doing? Yeah, like. They just supposed to say, I just bought this baby cash. You got 10 mil, go buy you one. Man, 10 mil, and you talking yeah. about this supposed to be my house. You driving my car. Baby, you can buy that house and that car. What yeah, for sure. About? Nah, but that was... Well, oh. we can trade it. You can have all this, and I keep this 10 mil. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> Take this off my... That do be sad when women can't have babies. That's some real shit, though. Nah, women that, do. that women hurt, of course. Women to have babies. Bro. That hurt, but I'm saying, like... 10 mil make it a little... Come on, baby. Yeah, 10 mil, ease yeah, it up you got 10 yeah. And then she run into the car though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> no, I'm saying on the movie she they ran into that nigga yeah. car. They gonna say you victim blaming? I'm not. I'm just saying she ran into the car. Like just the you... transition of the conversation was a little. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying though. I was trying like, to say <laughs> you. You can't blame like nigga. You was wild no, and you ran yeah, into the car. Like, exactly, bro. No, you're right. Mm-hmm. It's just the transition was. Yeah, yeah my fault. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, Tom Perry you movies back. are absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Like, if you ever want to have a bullshit good time, go watch a random Tom Perry movie. Yeah, because they be so. out of pocket. It was so, it was so outlandish. Why did I get married? Is one of the craziest movies of all time. Them at that retreat, I got uh, a nigga that's like the nigga who told at the table for sure. I'm not gonna say your name because we be running off names of this motherfucker. But when I saw that, go ahead, man. I said, What's his Charles? <laughs> Charles with the bike. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't no nigga too. My nigga's name Charles. Charles. <laughs> Y'all know the nigga. Let's just start naming it Brandon B. And for- <laughs> and- hey, good. No, nah, I don't do my nigga like that. I don't fuck it. Damn, what's up, nigga? Tell I don't fuck it. it. Nah, but that's Adam. a... That's a... <laughs> Chill. Shout out to my niggas, man. Nah, that's a, that's a fraud-ass movie. Well, it is a funny movie. Yeah, that's a fraud that movie. How he did Sheila, bro. How he did Jill Scott, bro. I'm like, I play a lot. I be joning, but damn, bro. He was roasting that nigga. <laughs> then he brought. This is what's so fucked up about Tyler Perry. That nigga had his bitch on the plane. And this bitch was driving to the resort. That's why he wild. Because he always wild. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he's wild. snowy mountains. Because he's not, nobody doing that. Yeah, bro. Man, they so both going to get a flight. We got to put right, him. Stop. We got to put him. <laughs> I'm one of the most fucked up niggas yeah, in the team. He always movies. making us look bad. <laughs> he Stop always, that. bro. And you be giving niggas bad hairstyles. <laughs> yes. It never fails. Everybody hairstyle gonna be it's fucked crazy. up. <laughs> yes. Every nigga hairstyle gonna be fucked up. Look, me and Pete watching the movie last night. She, I was like, who made this? The nigga popped it. Tyler Perry. Look at that hair. I said, damn. <laughs> this is a Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> Shamar moved with the braids with the bandana. Oh, God. <laughs> they got chilled down. That was one of the weakest. It was brown, too. He had a 2K starter bandana. Oh, God. I remember a nigga told me I had them braids. God, I beat their ass for that shit. Oh, damn. Yeah, it was like, that's nigga, how. Put your foot down, bro. Yeah, I was like, nigga got me fucked up. Like, what I the seen fuck? my nigga today, one of my niggas in practice today had got his dreads braided. They look like that. <laughs> I said, hey, bro, take them shits out, man. Shout out to Titus. Man. Man, nah, it wasn't even Titus, man. It was shout out to Muna, bro. Oh, Muna, that's the part of Lydia. Is that? And D-Man, D-Man had them shits working. Fuck it. Call these niggas out. Hey, if Larry Bulls would have seen that hairstyle for that, oh. yeah. <laughs> Nigga. Oh boy, at North Sister used to make them niggas cut their hair, bro. Oh, God. bro. Doug Mitchell had them boys like this looking in the military, boy. Oh, stash is crazy. You couldn't have no, you can only have a stash. You couldn't have no beard, no chin hair. No, bro. Straight major pain, bro. Yeah. Speaking of major pain, <laughs> one of the fuck, never mind. Oh, they got a long legacy, bro. 
Who, the Wayne? The, the Wayne brother. Yeah. The that, the best my wife and kids movie. is better than the Parkers. Ooh, that's an elite TV show. My wife and kids is better than the Parkers. I'm my rolling. fault. I didn't mean to. I ain't shot that. That's one of my favorite shows. Because Junior is fucking hilarious. That's debatable. Junior's so slow on that show. On. They like, they made him too, ret- like, too redacted. Special. <laughs> like, some of the shit he was doing was too crazy, yeah. bro. Junior not worse than old girl from Fresh Prince, bro. Hillary? Hey, oh no. Oh, no, you no, mean, no Junior's Junior. the worst. Him and the... Uh, <laughs> he got his bitch knocked up in nor, the garage. Nor Junior, Junior and Waldo is the same. But I was just about <laughs> to say, I don't know who worse, Waldo or Junior. Oh, that. And I'm damn near going with Junior. But at least Junior got bitch like that nigga Waldo ain't got no hoes. <laughs> Junior got a bitch with a body. <laughs> <laughs> well, my nigga lost his hair. Hey, Junior girl was hard, too. Hey, oh, Waldo, Waldo could never. Hey, my nigga had a broke down whip. Yeah. Nigga, you damn near couldn't talk that to Waldo. That nigga lived in the garage, bro. <laughs> and his girl and his baby. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 that's a goat. That's so hard, man. Fuck that. That's so tough. Bro. Yeah, Junior over Waldo. <laughs> yeah. That nigga went from Hooper Varsity to live with his girl and his baby and his parents. Yeah, Waldo, Waldo had was to slow cut that guy on my 2K character. They need to change that shit. I'm really shitty. Every time I fucking tell me about 2K, I'll be like, this fucking Waldo haircut. Why the fuck? I didn't have this shit. Them <laughs> 2K fits be weak to the bitch, too. Oh, my 2K fit. Try. You got to see what I got on now. Fucking terrible. Oh, my God, man. No, y'all That's crazy. I forgot about that show, man. Family Matters to me is one of them hit or miss shows. Yeah, I ain't, I said, my fault. I keep saying the R. Look, my bad. Go ahead, DJ. My fault. The Redacted? Yeah, my fault. Really slow, bro. That's cool. <laughs> my bad. Oh, man. Hey, uh, today, Kobe getting a statue. This is fire. Okay. Um, I don't know what it looked like. I hope we, we probably won't see it by the time we get done with this, but I hope it's a fadeaway. I hope it's, uh, it's not going to be with his daughter? Oh, if that's the case, that's even fun. Uh, nah, the fadeaway, hell nah, DJ. It's the Jersey pool. With him, like, talking oh, the 2K, shit. The 2K boy? Yeah, bro, do the Jersey pool. Him what Kobe was better to y'all? Mikey. What Kobe was better to y'all? Number eight or 24? Um, 24, because 24 did it without Shaq. I'm saying eight after Shaq left and he was getting 81 and shit. He was Nah, that team was weak, though. Yeah, I ain't care about that. <laughs> he already won. I like when he was like wearing Jordans and shit, hooping and all type of PE. And his fro right was weak. He ain't had a fro no more. He had cut it. Yeah, he had a he had cut the fro down. He had all them PEs and shit on. Nah, he had cut the fro. The sneaker free agency Kobe when he was in the A's, oh, the forces, man. and he was going crazy. Yeah, he was going crazy. I don't know, bro. But I fuck with young Kobe, bro. Young had Kobe the, was really twenty all star game. Yeah. Kobe like. Dunk contest, Kobe. That's never my favorite, Kobe. When he hooped in the uh, Reebok, the questions. No, nigga, that was hard. the PE's yeah, crazy. Yeah. I, I like that Kobe more than I like twenty four Kobe. Like I ain't, I ain't saying twenty four Kobe wasn't like that, but the rebrand. I'm going with the rebrand. Mm. Shout out to the rebrand. Yeah, that, when that, he started kissing place. his wife at halftime and shit, I wasn't really feeling that. I like when he was shit. He was on the fence about to get divorced. He like he was playing for something. Like fuck that. I don't give a fuck about nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's when Black Mama was established. Yeah, he ain't give a fuck about shit. He was going <laughs> crazy. Nigga going to court cases, coming back, getting 35. He was, yeah, I like that, Kobe. The Tyler Perry character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, if they ever do a, a Kobe Man, I'm biography. talking about straight basketball, bro. <laughs> they better not let Tyler Perry get a hold of that shit. You better not be I a part of anything Kobe Bryant. <laughs> If you get he played part of the fake high Kobe Bryant put on one of them weak ass Tyler Perry fronts. <laughs> Tyler Perry. <laughs> they, Tyler Perry Who gonna play TP? Who gonna play Kobe in the Tyler Perry movie? He a fucking Brian, had, the nigga from Why Did I Get Married? He gonna have that nigga. <laughs> nah, what's the uh not Shamar Moore? What's the other light skinned nigga name? Uh, I know who you're talking about. Vanessa Williams. Damn, yeah. <laughs> what is Morris that? Morris Kojo. <laughs> They gonna put Boris Kondo with that weak ass fro on there. Uh-huh. What's he in a movie with that weak ass fro? <laughs> yeah, fuck out here, don't do Kobe like that. Hey, what's worse? What's gonna be worse, the Tyler Perry Kobe Bryant biography or that Michael Jordan movie that they made about him? <laughs> that and Michael, that's one of the worst. That Michael Jordan, uh, what's that one? What channel was that? Family, uh, I can't remember. When he had the weak ass, oh, he was weak. The nigga that, that killed people. Yes. Man, that was terrible. Bro, that Michael that's not the worst though, y'all. The worst one is y'all boy. Look, Flex sports. By far the worst. But that Michael <laughs> sports movie, that Michael Jordan is the worst. Disgusting. <laughs> it gets no worse than that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they treat that like hey, a, he had on the, uh, black toe 14s the whole <laughs> the whole movie. 
I said, damn, y'all ain't gonna show he started off in the ones. <laughs> y'all just gonna be in the fourteens the whole movie. It's damn, not right. about that. That wasn't in the budget team. <laughs> it's not about that. Yeah, I said this nigga got a fro with the fourteen toe <laughs> black toes on. Like, hey, get the fuck out of here! This movie, nigga, sick. you ain't sick with the white toes. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, y'all got to change the shoes. So I was just like, that's crazy. These people who had to be making these movies be getting their shit off, man. Yeah, Niggas been making Tubi movies for a long time, but nah, we just didn't facts, know. Facts, bro. Like, I wonder where that movie. That was on ABC Family. It was. Oh, yeah. Mm. And they should have. And I stayed up to watch that bullshit ass movie. I wonder uh, how he felt when he saw that because at some point he had to see it. I know he wasn't involved with that. At some point, somebody made him <laughs> watch that. When first was making, he probably kind of do look like me. Did he see that shit again? He said, what the fuck is this? You know, Mike, that nigga don't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't the blackest. Oh, I'm just like, Mike man. couldn't find a nigga black enough to be me. Man, Mike's so black. That nigga eyes yellow. <laughs> he got a single cell. <laughs> nah, that's something else, man. <laughs> I ain't laughing at that. Oh. But they eyes do be yellow, bro. My bad, no, they bro. don't. They do, bro. <laughs> hey, let's get away from this. <laughs> who y'all got win the Super Bowl? I probably figure who you, bro. I got 49ers. Oh, you know, it's Debo or nothing, baby. Damn. I don't give a fuck. Free I'm Home Bowl. Senior. My nigga be coming down to motherfucking NBA Young Boy, him and Trent. I've been a fan of since they got that rocket. Why is NBA Young Boy taking pictures with all them trucks? Uh, he <laughs> sent us the Kobe thing. He wildin'. It's just, uh, it's in the group chat. Okay. They holding up a finger. Oh, this after the uh, last game, I'm assuming. Yeah, what's his last game? Wow, he wearing eight, though. That's what's up. Uh, damn, do we got Wi Fi? Because this, this first picture blurred the motherfucker, Mike. They need to do eight on the front, 24 on the back. That's what hit her, Ma. <laughs> what you on, bro? <laughs> There we are. Before we get out of here, <laughs> which Kobe are you? I, I had a crazy joke, but I'm a chill. I'm a chill. I, I digress. When this post, the the Super Bowl would have been yesterday. Okay. Yeah. So we we made predictions. 49ers. He put 49ers. 49ers. Debo Samuel. Train go crazy, bro. Party yeah, for me, bro. Want to bet? I'm going Chiefs. All right, party for me. Got a bet. I'm going Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. You got it. I'm not betting no Von Meros. I'm not betting no sneakers with shoes. I want them doing backers. So every time I bet some shoes with Mike, he walks around the crib or the studio where we at. He ties them around his neck like he's a fucking New York City phone high, uh, wire or whatever this shit is. And he, <laughs> I want them doing backers. And the whole time, Paul's, he clicking them together Damn, like Dorothy. That is crazy. <laughs> I said, Paul. Clicking around your neck is crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, in the Freaky show. Freaky Mike back. In the show, DJ, in the show. Click them together while I crack you from the back. Wow. Crazy. In the show, DJ. In <laughs> the, the show. show. In the That's show. That's the name of the show. <laughs> Click them together. Luis. <laughs> The graphic just need to be Mike with some shoes around his neck. Thanks. Out the game. In the show. And on that note, we're going to get up out of here. Oh, we are in the show now. What y'all think Usher... Uh, oh, shit, we rolling. What y'all think Usher halftime show going to be like? Y'all think it's going to be top? The best ever, nigga. What's, the best, oh, what's no. the best ever right now, then? Let's we go. We okay. here. I don't know. That Prince Purple Rain while it was raining was elite. Janet Jackson. Because her titty came out. Yep. Damn. That shit was trash, really. Justin yeah, Timberlake did it. Somebody did a photo shoot about that. Hey, that's uh, you, you going to do the remake? Dre- I see the you vision. You did dress Shorty up as Janet. You did dress Shorty up as Janet. Under the, under the uh, silhouette, it said the rebirth. Mm. <laughs> so, so was Mike Justin Timberlake in the picture? Oh, no, 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 he had that one dude that's nah. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> that's Jermaine Dupree, <laughs> the real producer. <laughs> In the show. Answer the question, y'all. Uh, so question. that was your confession. Uh. Oh, that was Stays. JD said the pig. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Which pig? <laughs> you know, I thought you were talking about the one said the pig. Oh, wow. It was his confession. <laughs> Now, Usher going to have the greatest performance ever, bro. Yeah, I think it's going to be better than Technology, him. bro. Prince, Michael Jackson. He's better than all them, bro. Bruno Mars, Beyonce. Yes. Mm. When you say that, can you clarify when you say he's better than all them? You mean his this show? Yeah, the performance. Okay. Yeah, come on now. I'll just make it. I was clarifying. Yeah, shit, Mike. I respect that. But yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. Do you think it's going to be better than I'll stand Beyonce on top had of. a phenomenal show. 
No, it's gonna be MJ's, bro. Yeah, MJ's was crazy. I think it's just the screen, bro. They did the screen. <laughs> I don't. I just think Usher got just the catalog. Would you say Usher catalog is better? I this, think the music that he picks and the performances, like he's. I seen the people. Like he gonna have Lil John, Little Chris, and like I think. And yeah, I gotta be. think he had time to prepare for this. He gonna have. He gonna play. Yeah, that's one of my least favorite Usher songs. But I mean, I understand it's one of his biggest songs. Yeah, but it's not one of my favorites. What song y'all yeah, want to hear? Black. I seen Lil Wayne say you want to hear uh, "Nice and Slow." He is crazy. You can perform that. I let it hear "Superstar." That'd be fire. What song you want to hear, Mike? I, I think a, he's gonna play all of his favorites. Like, he gonna play all the pop song. He gonna play. He gonna play yeah. all oh my song. god! Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't want to hear that. He gonna yeah. play hype. He gonna do to the window, to the wall. Hey, Lil John, do that. That's fire. That's hard. To the sweat drop down my balls. Bring Lil John out. Oh, ski ski is crazy. You know what's song. crazy? I used to be so hyped in the club. My, I really would be sweating, and I would yeah, go over my right girl now. house. <laughs> Damn! Shout I wash up in the shower. I mean, the I little, was about to say. I take a little. What you call it? A bird bath. My boy was whole knocking. Bath. Yeah, I take a whole he bath. He was knocking pH bounces off. <laughs> Nah, man, I did a whole, I did a whole bath, bro. <laughs> hey, it's, it's funny you said that because me and my niggas was talking about that, like, like nigga, we really used to just leave the game and go to the club, but I did nice to go home and shower real quick. That's crazy. Yeah, I had showers there. Niggas ain't sure that pipe, nigga. Get gang. Oh, girl. I thought you meant at the uh <laughs> like wait, right? Yeah, you said the club. I'm thinking like oh, I'm talking about when we was in. Oh, we was 15. I'm about to say, bro, they all in the pocket. I'm talking about the facility is crazy. Nah, I'm you and Josh about... Smith, y'all wild. Nah, <laughs> hell no, nah, nah. You can't leave the facility without taking a shot. Yeah. You never get fined for that shit. Yeah, but Damn, I'm talking for real? about yeah, I'm talking about when you especially at the Hawks, you used to get fined for that if you ain't take a shower. <laughs> Niggas tell on you, nigga. Your teammates be like, that nigga didn't shower. Yeah. He took a shower pill, that's what they call it. Nigga took a shower pill. Pay up, nigga. Yeah. But now nah, I'm talking about when we was in high school. When we 14, when that song came out, Windows to the Wall, 15, whatever it was. I definitely wasn't showering after them pipe games. I used to be shitty, nigga. Speaking about, like, hooping and shit, I used to be shitty when I had gym in the middle of the fucking day. Oh, that was a, the weakest shit. I had a shit. raw fit. I'm like, God damn. Nigga, I wore AP. I had APC every morning. 7 o'clock, nigga. It was over. Boy, I used to tell the little... My little Mexican homeboy, hey, spray that axe over there so I can walk through that bitch. Damn. <laughs> he had a teammate. Like, I used to, I used to the breathe. for the axe is crazy. <laughs> and I wanted it too strong, though. I just want a little hit. That's the nigga. I used to wash my nuts in the, uh, oh my wash God. my nuts in my underarms, nigga. Yeah, bro. My mom used to give me wipes, nigga. Bro, I used to have to bring a bar of soap, nigga, wash my nuts my underarms with a towel. They try to be smooth and be like, hey, hit that little axe over there, cuz I'm gonna walk through it. Don't spray that motherfucker on me, though. Oh, uh, shit. Hey, how I many niggas you know you used to take that axe to that, that motherfucking gym uniform that, that they take home? <laughs> nigga, Boy. niggas you just do the underarms like this. <laughs> Nasty niggas. <laughs> that shirt be stiff to the motherfucker. Nigga, motherfucker be yellow under the pits, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and that white uniform didn't do much. That fuck used to Vanilla be yellow. Vanilla ass arms. <laughs> man, it was a nigga named, man, I ain't gonna say it was a nigga named. This nigga jersey was so yellow, bro. I, man, bro, get the fuck away from me. He That's ain't give a fuck. Man. Football nigga, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm brand. <laughs> well. <laughs> I was like, boy, he's a dirty nigga, boy. Shout out to Glenn Rob and the Axe. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, he, he didn't say that shit. When he said it, I was having flash, but I was like, I ain't sprayed on me. I walked through that motherfucker, though. <laughs> yeah. Bro, they had no wipes, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, he just threw the just Axe vibes. on. <laughs> nigga. Said, I shot a thousand shots at <laughs> Throw the axe off. I'm like, nigga, you ain't use no soap, like, oh bird bathing at all. Nigga, the I, fuck? Especially, like, when we used to have to go swimming. Ooh, that chlorine. Man, nigga, my eyes come back red. I remember I told them, I, I act like the girls. They be like, we on our period. I'm like, nigga, I can't swim. I can't go over. That's I crazy. can't go under the water, bro. That's crazy. Because, nigga, I'm like, shit, they, y'all can't do that. I must have used to talk to a strong bitch back in the day. I ain't ever thought about that. That bitch loves swimming. <laughs> red day, blue day. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> a maxi tampon. That motherfucker. <laughs> bitch was the real WWF. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't know bitches got hall passes for period days. Yep. Yes. <laughs> nigga, shout out to Sherelle Clinton. That motherfucker's on her period for four months straight, nigga. I'm like, God damn, you still bleed? She said, every day. <laughs> every day is crazy. <laughs> I said, 
<laughs> you need to go to the doctor. Your menstrual cycle <laughs> fucked up. Damn. Because I thought she was for real. She's like, nigga, I ain't swimming, nigga. I'm swimming my period every day. That's great. I never knew that. We didn't have no pool at Ripple, so I didn't know that. Uh, they had y'all niggas. Like <laughs> them niggas had to swim in a water fountain. Niggas <laughs> splashing <laughs> splash each other. <laughs> we just sat out and watched the movie. That <laughs> instruction. <laughs> How to swim. <laughs> <laughs> niggas hold their breath for they see. Yeah. The nigga was in the canal. <laughs> we had that motherfucking, uh, what you call it, CPR and shit, oh, mouth to mouth and all that shit. Niggas yeah. just dying for no reason to ripple. That's nigga, crazy, we did man. have a pool. They was hoes for that. I hated swim. I hated that shit. It was the worst thing ever. Man. Damn. Was it co-ed, though? It was co-ed, wasn't Yo, it? That was the only fun part till they told you you really had to swim or you wasn't going to pass. Damn. I got to jump off that diving board. Nigga, I damn near died. That's one of the worst shits ever. I got yeah. out the way. I was like, I'm, I can know how to swim, but I'm, I'm cool on swimming. Yeah, me and my niggas was wow. lifeguards. Y'all, y'all, so y'all know how to swim. Yeah, I know how, yeah, to, swim. I know how to swim, uh, but I had braids at that time. You know, once you go swimming, it's murder. It's done. And you was yeah. not wearing no shower cap with Mr. Stewart. No, sir. Take that take that off. I was like, boy, you so... Damn, damn ma. Like he, was so, he was so... Redacted. Man, and so... Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hit a redacted up, button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was so <laughs> left handed. Yeah, oh, God. He was going left for sure. Yeah. <laughs> With the hezzy. <laughs> I was looking at this. I'm like, damn, it looked like Kobe getting the Doc Rivers treatment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and on that note, we're about to get up out of here. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. RP B. All Star Game. RP to B. Um, I used to do a club for our 20 game coming. Why are you pointing at? They can't see it in the camera. Luis, please don't zoom in. We don't need to zoom in. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll see y'all next week.